Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to be replacing the HEPA filters in my Tesla Model Y. And I've had my Tesla now for, actually it's been right about a year and I have just a little bit over 18,000 miles. So we're gonna continue on with some maintenance. And if you remember about, I don't know, a month ago, we replaced the uh, cabin air filters along with cleaning out the coil um, for the cabin air filters. So now we're going to be replacing again the HEPA filters. And it's actually pretty simple. All we're gonna do is remove um, the panel on the top and then there's going to be a cover um, that we're going to remove 10 screws with this uh, T20 bit here. So there's gonna be 10 T20 screws that we're gonna to need to remove to be able to access the new filters. So again, it's pretty easy um, installation and um, shouldn't take too long, but it's part of the maintenance that we need to do. And again, I'm right at a year with a little bit over 18,000 miles. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so to be able to remove this panel here, all we're gonna do is just pull. There's some clips that are holding it in place. So as you can see, if you start lifting up, it starts popping out. So that's all you have to do. And all we're going to do is just set this aside. Like I mentioned before, there's a set of um, 10 T20 screws that we're going to use our uh, T20 bit with. And they're basically just surrounding this perimeter uh, cover plate here that, that basically covers HEPA filters. <laughs> Now there are three screws along the bottom here um, that are slightly difficult to get to, but all you have to do is just pull back on this little um, tub here for the frunk, and then that way you can get your, your uh, screwdriver in place here to be able to easily remove this. Now one thing that I'll point out is um, as you're taking out the T20 screw, make sure you grab a hold of it before you completely remove it because um, you don't want it to fall down into the little frunk area because it'll be a little difficult to get to later on. So we have all 10 screws um, removed. So all we're going to do is just lift this cover out. Just like that, set this aside. All right, so now we have access to the filters and all you do is just simply, you know, grab onto them and pull them straight out. Just like that. So these actually don't look all that bad, quite honestly. So if we compare um, our new filter with our existing one. I mean, it's a, it's a little dirty, but it's actually, actually not, not that bad at all. So I mean, it's a little, like I said, there's a little dirty, but that's okay. We're going to go ahead and replace it again. It's been a year with 18,000 miles. And uh, again, I picked these up on Amazon. Um, and they're by Basener. As you can see, they're pretty much um, nearly identical. And then here we have the other filter, which again, still looks pretty good. Still a little, I mean, it's a little dirty, so it's a good time to, to replace it. Now, one thing to keep in mind, guys, is that on the existing Tesla filter, you'll see this arrow here that it says this side up, but on the Basner replacement ones, it doesn't have that. So, but if you look at both sides of them, there's this little white strip here that matches the one in the Basener, but on the other side, it doesn't have that. So basically what that's indicating now is that with this arrow facing up, we're going to make sure that 
this white strip is facing up when we reinstall them. So just keep that in mind. And then before you take the other filter out, you'll notice that this great looking thing is facing up as well. So on the back side, it does not have that. So we've got to make sure that this grate is facing up when we reinstall the new ones. And then there's also this gasket along the perimeter um, of the filter that we want to make sure we're installing correctly so it doesn't get all kinked up when you inside the housing. So now we got the old filters out. Let's go ahead and put the new ones in. Got the filters in. Next, all we're going to do is put the cover back on and then the panel. So just going to slide this over on top, line up the holes and attach the 10 T20 screws that we removed earlier. That's it guys. Pretty easy um, replacement of those HEPA filters. Didn't take very long. So really the only tool that you need is that T20 bit. And uh, that's about it. Again, make sure you check out the video that I had done previously uh, for the cabin air filters and cleaning out the AC coil. So you'll check out that, that link that I'll um, set up there in the top right corner. So check that out. And uh, if you guys found this helpful, make sure you hit that like button and of course, subscribe for more. We'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.